Hey guys, welcome to JPT. I'm Carson G, and this is Just Playing Tech. In today's video, this is kind of an add-on to yesterday's video, which you can check out up here. But today we're going to install uh, Slackware. Now let's do it. start please make sure that you subscribe and hit those notifications so you don't miss out on future videos like this if you like Linux installation guides or just other Linux videos in general definitely be sure to subscribe if you haven't already um, so what we're going to do today is we're gonna install Slackware um, if you don't really know what Slackware is or like if you're if you have never heard of Slackware or you've never done anything with Slackware, definitely check out that other video up there. Click those cards right there. Check that out. Yesterday's video, The Beginner's Guide to Slackware. So you know, you kind of know the drill here. So we're just going to install it the normal way. I'd highly recommend doing it how everything is laid out. Like, I wouldn't not install anything because if you forget like if you set it to not install some things then it might anyway basically there's to get it to work fully functionally there's a way there's a certain way you have to install it and I'm gonna show you how you're gonna do that alright let's jump onto our computer okay guys so just make sure you have uh, your web browser fired up I'll be using Firefox it really doesn't matter as long as your web browser will download something so not Internet Explorer <laughs> all right so you're gonna want to type in slackware dot com and then we're gonna go download our ISO file so once you're there you're gonna go to get slack now we're gonna go to mirrors we're going to go to Slackware ISO images, and um, it looks like they only had 64-bit images since Slackware 13, so if you have a 64-bit, go ahead and get Slackware 14.2, but since I have 32-bit, I'm going to get Slackware 14. If it doesn't say this 64 right here, that means it's 32-bit, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on that. Now, uh, once you get there you will have all these files and you'll be like what do I have to download all of them you, you only have to download one only one you have to download and it will be like forget about all this install d4 d3 d2 d1 d6 source blah 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 forget all about forget about all that the one you need to download is this 2 git 2.6 gigabyte file right here slackware 14.2 install dvd that is what you want to download right there Okay, now you're going to save that file. And that's all you need. Alright, so you're going to want to open Etcher, which is available for um, Windows, Mac, and Linux. Download in the description. So you're going to click Select Image. We're going to go to, uh, we're going to select our Slackware image. Now we're going to select our flash drive. And we will click flash then you enter your password then we'll get to installing it okay so here we are on our uh, slackware install disk okay so you will just boot it from your boot menu and this screen is going to show up we're just going to click enter and that shouldn't take more than like five seconds let it run so now we're just gonna click enter when it asks us to our keyboard map now we're going to log in as root and now as you can see we got a little command prompt right there we're going to type in setup okay so here is our slackware Linux setup so we have help key map so definitely 
remap your keyboard if you're not using a United States keyboard. Um, so we're just going to set up our target partition. Now what we're going to do, now you most people would only have one partition right there, your Windows partition. In my case it's Linux, but it might be Windows for you. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to click on that. No, no, you're definitely going to want to format it. Definitely format it. So click format, enter, and we're going to format it as an ext4 journaling file system. So just click enter again, and then that will format it. That way we're erasing everything on your system and replacing your whole hard drive with a partition that Slackware will install to. Okay. So that shouldn't take too long. Here, I'll get back to you in this. Okay, here we are. So now you're just gonna click OK. And um, here, um, it will take you through some weird setup thing. Since you're not actually in, if you're dual booting, you might wanna do this, but if, since we're doing a clear install, you, I mean, if you wanna do a dual boot, that's fine. But we're doing a clear install, so there's no other partitions on here besides our um, Slackware partition. And you can set up swap after if you want. We're just going to click no when it right here. So now we're going to install from a Slackware USB stick. I'm using a live USB stick. If you were using a CD or DVD, you're going to want to select that. or if you're using any one of these, you're going to want to click that. But I'm using a USB stick, and most of you will probably be using a USB stick. So, we're just going to click enter. And now it's saying a package directory was found. Alright, now it brings us here. We got our. Basically, it's asking us what we want to install. We got all this stuff. Just leave everything how it is. Do not change anything. Leave that all how it is. So your installation is proper. Okay, so we're gonna do a full, we're gonna click full up here. Nine, it takes up from nine to 10 gigabytes on your hard drive. So make sure you have at least a good 20 gigabytes for this operating system. I'd recommend at least 40 for like full use, but 20 would probably be like the bare minimum. Anyway, so we're gonna click full and then it will just sit there installing a ton of packages like this it won't prompt you it will just install everything and you're gonna sit down oh sorry then after that we're going to configure our keyboard our mouse and then I'll show you then um, I'll give you links to my other videos on how to configure internet which is really easy it's really only one command to configure ethernet usually if you have a Wi-Fi or Ethernet card that it supports, it's really easy to configure Ethernet. Just click this video up here to learn how to do that. It's really easy, only one command. And then we're going to, this part's also, also optional, we're going to install software stores called G-Slapped and SBOUI. Click this video up here if you want to learn how to do that. Again, both of these videos will be shown at the end of the video, so just stick around if you want to. Um, if you want to finish the install and then click those videos at the end screen, all right? So I'll show all you what right, to do so after. Now we have this option boot. to create a USB boot stick or skip making a USB boot stick. We're going to skip. You can create one if you want, but we're going to skip. So Lilo is a bootloader. You could install Lilo if you want, but I'm not going to install Lilo. Okay. So now you will configure your default mouse. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, basically scroll down this and select your mouse. Okay, so um, you can do PS2 port mouse. Most desktops and laptops, you might want to click that. USB mouse, Microsoft PS2 Intel mouse. Since it's highlighted this one at first, you're gonna want to do that one. 
and if that doesn't work just reinstall it and cl I recommend clicking one of these or one of these and if that doesn't work just try out all the other ones until they work so um, yes we will load the program at boot time uh, we do not want to configure our network because we're going to do that later so let's see so now these are your startup services so you can just leave everything how it is and we're gonna select no my hardware clock is set to local time so I'm gonna click that and then we're gonna set our time now we're gonna set our default window manager or desktop environment I would recommend doing KDE or XFCE but I'm gonna do KDE because that's what it's set on for default and we will set a root password And now we can reboot. There we go. Your Slack word. Oh, actually, yeah. We're actually going to have to go exit. Yes. There you go. Now Slack word is installed on your system, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, so you can watch this video on how to configure your internet or ethernet for Slack word. And then... You can watch this video so you can configure your software stores on Slackware. It's really not that hard. All you have to follow is simple instructions like five little commands to install software stores and then one command to enable Ethernet. So that's all there is to it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next week.